So they often talk about 10S and they always talk about how you look. NTRP, UTR, people judge you based on how you look. But as you age, it's very difficult to play topspin. So here's an alternative. Use a slice. Saves a lot of energy, much more precise, and it has a lot of positive benefits. And we're going to talk about this in a whole bunch of videos as I, as I show you how I use a slice in singles. Because basically I'm a volleyer, and all I'm doing now is volleying for the baseline using a slice. One of the keys is the power of slice is to use it for a return or first shot. The reason it's so beneficial on the return or the first shot is when you get caught, I get sort of caught here. Remember the zones, Any green is all forehands, yellow is backhand, red is a defensive backhand, and blue in the doubles alley should be a defensive forehand. You can hit topspin from that corner through a deep roll, but use this pattern to justify what you're doing based on geometry of the court. This is what I think about. In the yellow, I'm more aggressive. In the red, I'm just defensive. I hit the ball deep so I can recover. And green and blue, I just try to hit forehands. And I can hit a slice forehand. He actually caught me in the return. And so the other thing too is interesting is because people always underestimate a slow ball. This is a deep slow ball with no pace. I have position and it's a backhand. That's the key. I'm in position for a second shot. So even if he hits a fabulous drive, there's no pace in the ball. It's actually hard to hit a stationary ball like this hard for a winner. And that's the key to hitting a slice. Depth. Keep it high and deep. He's also tall, so this low slice is beneficial because it forces him to hit up and through the ball. Now, if you place it well, that's all that matters. Because as you age, the slice will allow you to place the ball extremely well. It might not have the force of topspin, but if you watch me striking the ball, I hit a solid slice. It's going through the air rather quickly. It actually goes through the air faster on my slice than my topspin. So here's the first shot. Now this is a different sort of point. First key. Body serve, but he hits a forehand, he gets a pretty good shot at me, and look where I am. When I go to this position here, I'm hitting a defensive slice to let myself get back into position. The key here is since it's defensive, I hit the ball high and it gives me time to get back into the court and give me a time to set for the next shot. Note the position changes here. He has offense, he's in the middle of the court. I'm in defense, I'm on the side of the court by doubles alley. If I put the ball anywhere to his forehand or in the middle, it opens up the cross court forehand. So therefore, this is what you want to do. You hit this high defensive slice. It was set up by this return. This is actually a pretty good return. Whenever you take one, two, three, four steps to the ball, that's a good return. So I throw the high slice and neutralize his position and I get into a position myself. I'm now in front of him slightly. I can cover the court and I'm back. Those two things really help you. Being behind the baseline gives you more time to recover and being in front of him really helps you get to the ball too. I'm assuming he's gonna play my backhand again. If I thought he was play his forehand, I'd play more to the right. This is an offensive shot. It's low in a way. It goes through the air rather quickly too. I got a good weight transition on it. That's one of the biggest keys here that people underestimate that shot too. It's a tough slice. Notice the positioning on that last shot. I'm in the red zone for the first shot, but I'm in the yellow zone for the second shot. So being in the yellow zone, I can attack the ball. I can step in. Even though I'm far behind the baseline, I hit a firm slice short. And that's actually a tough shot to get back because it's firm, low and away. I hit the racket set. I transfer weight to my hand. I hit a short ball. It hits move up to the ball. It's a tough shot to hit. It's deceptive. It's a slice. People underestimate the value of the slice. You have to take care of the slice. You have to approach the ball as if it's a bounce closer to you than it really is. And what I like about it is it doesn't take a lot of energy for me to slice. A slice from the baseline is basically a, ba a backhand volley. First shot to recover. Second shot to attack. And the key is it's good for the return also. So this is why I like to, I like to use the first shot when I serve because I have to recover, but it's also good to return. 
with contracts that the first one I hit a top spin return, I got lucky he missed a volley. And this is actually a pretty good serve. Because look where he puts me in. It's a high backhand away inside the doubles alley. And I just happened to hit a backhand top spin. I'm really out of position. I don't know why I hit a top spin, I just did. But by hitting this top spin shot, it throws off this rhythm because I, I normally slice. And when you play a, uh, a slicer, normally the counter is to serve and volley. But it's actually very hard to volley a slice. So although I'm out of position, he had the volley, he should have won the point. I got lucky. But in my head, I'm thinking, okay, now, notice as soon as I hit the ball, I ran to cover the cross court because that's where he's going to go. And I was actually sort of in position that if he made a good volley, I would have lost the point. Let's contrast that with he's in position to serve and volley. Let's contrast that with the slice. And I like this comparison because it's really noticeable how the two almost look exactly the same. High and away, if I go short angle slice. And that's the key right there. High and away, short angle slice. This is actually interesting because the slice here looks almost like the same as the position I was in for the high top spin. One to the right, it's high top spin, the slice here. But the difference is I transition forward with body weight and I cut a short angle knocking the ball down, hitting a clean winner in the return. And that's another thing about the slice. It's actually easier to hit a ball down when you hit it high to you as opposed to top spin, and it's hard to volley a slice. So even if he hits this volley, that's a tough volley because it's going low and away. So that's why you want to use the slice as your first shot to return and your shot off the return, uh, your first shot off the serve. It's easy to prepare for the slice. It's easy to place it. It works well as a defense. Look, notice I'm also on the serve. I'm also on the baseline. So slice's return as first shot is excellent. Slice as the first shot off the serve is excellent. Saves a lot of energy too. Try it.